Hey everybody. Uh, I don't have a TV, so I'm just now uh, starting episodes of that uh, crazy mushroom zombie TV show, The Last of Us. If you haven't seen the show yet, um, unfortunately it's on HBO, and uh, yeah, if there's some way you can find out how to watch it <laughs> at all, uh, definitely recommend it so far. I think we need to talk about episode three because uh, some of the prepper stuff going on in there was just insane and there were other spots where it was like nah you'd be screwed or it, you know it didn't make sense but wow uh, <laughs> where to begin on this um, Well, for one, I found it really, really hilarious that it says 10 miles west of Boston, and it's like a view from Colorado or like Vancouver or some shit. For those of you who don't live around New England, there's no way that 10 minutes outside of Boston would ever look like that. <laughs> it really doesn't. <laughs> Not even close. But, uh... Yeah, that dude had quite the, uh... Oh yeah, spoiler alert. <laughs> but uh, the guy has quite a bunker in his mom's basement. And uh, one of the things I noticed is there weren't any like canned goods or a pantry in there. It was like loaded with guns and surveillance equipment and the, the camera monitors and all sorts of electronics and stuff. But I didn't actually see like food, water, or a way to go to the bathroom down there. So... The producers of the show kind of missed a few things on their uh, prepping list for that particular episode. Ah, but some of the other stuff, like uh, he didn't seem to have any solar or wind power. He uh, went and got um, big, you know, 50 gallon barrels, stuck them in the back of a boat, hooked it up to his truck. And he goes uh, to the gas station, fills them up with gasoline, and then he goes and breaks into like a natural gas propane <laughs> place and steals a bunch of that. And he has this huge sort of uh, fossil fuel generated uh, generator in the back that's running all the electricity and shit. And my favorite thing about the episode was the fence keeping the zombies and the intruders and raiders out that was amazing i would love a fence like that for my neighbors right now seriously <laughs> and uh the trip wires more detail on that would have been wonderful <laughs> the uh setup um that this guy had at his house and uh it's uh, pretty amazing. Uh, the meals they were eating, I guess, were vegetables grown out of a garden and rabbit. I didn't actually see any setup for rabbits, so I don't know if they were wild. Because how do you go hunting outside of that uh, fenced-in area? If you haven't actually seen the episode and don't know what I'm talking about, the guy somehow manages to go to... Uh, some sort of hardware place, Home Depot or Lowe's or something, and get enough, like, six-foot <laughs> chain fencing and put it up with uh, electrified wire at the top all by himself around, like, his entire block in his neighborhood um, after the government goons go away because they, they think everyone's cleared out and they don't know he's still there. But, um... The whole thing is just, uh, it's got the wheels turning, you know, about uh, how to protect your homestead in the event of a mushroom zombie pandemic invasion, I guess. Uh, 